What's going on guys? Chuck here with our awesome, actually a double awesome Blu-ray purchase. Uh, a couple videos back, uh, if you recall, I was giving you an update on my Best Picture collection. And I was going through it, I had mentioned there was a couple films that had, that had limited 4K releases and I wasn't able to pick them up. Well, funny enough, as I was editing that exact video, I happened to take a look and found out that two, the, actually I think the two main ones I discussed, that were I thought were out of print that actually had just had a re-release, um, and that is Lawrence of Arabia and Bridge on the River Kwai. They both had uh, had previously had limited steelbook 4K releases, um, and they were out, and then they just recently re-released these limit limited editions. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed those right away <laughs> and got them. Now I know what you're saying, well, Chuck. You've always talked about how you don't like steelbooks, and you're not wrong. I, I'm not a fan of steelbooks for mostly aesthetic reasons. I just don't, a lot of them, I mean, luckily for me, most of the ones I have, have the regular um, artwork, poster art on the covers of them, but a lot of them tend to deviate and get really crazy with the artwork, and I'm just not a fan of that. For the most part, I'm not a fan of the style of the steelbook really at all. However, I've also said, you know, if it's a movie I really like and this is the only way to get this version, I will get a still book. Um, I mean, I like it, <laughs> but, you know, it's either that or not have it. So I'm okay with that. So, but I mean, there, it gives me a choice and I'm going to go with the standard edition over uh, a, a still book. That being said, these were limited edition to two of my favorite best picture movies. You know, so what the heck, why not? Uh, let's start off <laughs> showing off with Bridge and River Quiet. Now, first of all, here is my DVD copy. Now, I've never had this beyond DVD. Both of these have only had these DVD editions, so this is complete skipping Blu-ray going straight to 4K. But here is my original DVD uh, from Columbia, which is a nice DVD. This is a pretty good stack set. This was a two-disc set. And here you've got a little uh, booklet that came in here along with your chapter list, which is nice. You don't do that anymore. This is pretty much a, a DVD thing. And then, you know, a little booklet all in the movie, which is really good. And then, yeah, your two disc, you know, film and bonus features. And here is the Steelbook. Now, this is what I was talking about. What I don't like about Steelbooks is I mean, while this is beautiful art, I'm, I cannot deny this is a wonderful looking. You've got the image here, the, the bridge, all that. This is beautiful. The aesthetic is, you know, pleasing to the eye. However, no Ron here that doesn't say bridge in the river Kwai. I, that bothers me. I'd rather have, you know, uh, you know the actual poster art. I would like to have, well, this isn't the actual original poster art. I would love to have something similar. Um... Something that tells me what the movie is. I mean, obviously, I know what it is. I mean, this is the bridge right there. But I prefer now. The spine is upside down. No. Okay, it does say Bridge and River Kwai, which is nice. Here's the back and then with the dynamite or the actually the plunger. And this was a two disc set. It also came with a digital code. So, nothing on the inside, just a two disc. And it is 4K and Blu-ray. And the features here are pretty much identical to my DVD set. Because um, it came with the Crossing the Bridge. As, well, it pictures and graphics track, which is... I didn't see that on the DVD set. Uh, William Holden and Alec Guinness on the Steve Allen Show. This was not mentioned in the DVD set, so that's kind of cool. Uh, they have archival audio of uh, William Holden narrating in Bridge and River Kwai in the premiere. That seems... I don't recall that being on the DVD either, so that's interesting. Making the Bridge Number Quiet, that is on the DVD. Uh, an Appreciation by John Milieu, that is on the DVD. Rise and Fall of the Jungle Giant, that also is on the DVD along with Photo Gallery. Now, what's on this DVD that's not on the 4K um, really is just uh, mainly the uh, DVD ROM <laughs> uh, stuff, which was like a trivia sabotage, experience building the bridge. I guess that's, you know, the trivia game of trying to build a bridge with, uh, or not. Uh, maps and military strategy, screensavers, and original movie art. So that's 
the days of the old DVD-ROM. That's kind of cool. Uh, they also mention out here a USC short film introduced by William Holden, which is not on the 4K. Uh, but everything else is similar, so pretty nice upgrade. Again, the only thing I don't like, I just wish it would say Bridge and Over Quiet in there somewhere. But still, you know, this is a nice to get this movie in 4K. And I think there might have been like a standard one. I don't know um, if it was still out or not. But, you know, it's a nice, pretty edition. And if there's a standard one out there, then I'll eat my words. But, <laughs> but um, I just happened to look, and this was the first one that popped up uh, out of curiosity. And it just said, you know, newly released, uh, limited, you know, reprint or something like that. So I got it. And, of course, this is also um, the... Both of these films are done by the same director, who is David Lean, yes, which is kind of cool. These, you know, so in, I guess in some ways, the stats do will mirror each other, as they're done by the same film. They both they're both or same director, excuse me, and you know they both have that sweeping uh, landscape and 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 of the film, which is really cool. Um, next up, and this is one I was really stoked about because I, as I said in that video, I really really love this movie, and that is Lawrence of Arabia. Now this, again, this is a DVD. This is a really nice set. Um, this is actually, if you see, this is kind of a canvasy cover or booklet, which is really cool. Um, yeah, and this opens up here. And again, also, this was a two-disc set as well. But you've got your booklet with your chapter list. And then the whole just... All kinds of info on the movie itself. And this is a beautiful, beautiful movie. I was lucky enough to see this one at a Fathom Events up on the big screen. And it is, it is amazing to see. I'm looking really forward to checking out on the 4K. Um, there are a lot of good features on this one also. And I think for the most part, most of these are poured over. And I will get into that. But, I mean, for a DVD, this is probably, a, this is a really, really nice DVD. I mean, it also it looks and sounds great, um, but this presentation, you know, the back here. Now, this is, has a little glue. That was where the, um, this actually was initially stuck to the back of it, and that glue piece never did come off. But you also have credits here on the bottom. And if you can hear, it's like a little canvasy cover. I really love that. This is a nice attention detail. It really gives you that desert flavor or appeal. It's just something that just, it really feels like a Lawrence Arabia. I like it. It's a great presentation. It's a great picture. Everything about it just stands out. And here is the limited edition for limited edition reprint <laughs> of the 4K for this set. Again, it's same thing with Bridge River Kwai. I mean, this is a striking image. You see, obviously Lawrence there is an image, but I really wish somewhere on there it would say Lawrence of Arabia. Now, when you buy these. They do have, you know, the little, this is, you know, the back of it. So you have that, I guess I could keep that on there if I wanted to. But you do that, then you cover up the back image, which is a shame. But I really wish it somewhere it would say Lawrence of Arabia. Um, but you also, again, on the spine, so it is there. And it opens up and you've got a digital code. And this one is, let's see, you've got a Blu-ray. We have two Blu-rays and I think two 4Ks. So here's a Blu-ray of the, the film, and here's a Blu-ray with special features. And then, yeah. Let's see. This is where, where it's kind of backwards. But here's a 4K of the film disc one and disc two of the 4K. So they took the, the 4K version and they split it across two discs, which is good because this is a big movie. And obviously, they want to get the best image quality. They're going to spread it over the two discs. Where the Blu-ray is fine to put all on one disc. Uh, you know, uh, this is how the DVD was. They put the whole film on the one disc with the intermission and everything. But I think, obviously, the 4K, you want to split it up. And I'm sure that's where intermission will be in the split in the, to the second disc. But, yeah. Okay, and as far as special features go, I mean, there were a lot on the DVD... Uh, and of course, DVD also had a, uh, or excuse me, the DVD did have a DVD ROM uh, special feature also, which basically was Archives of Arabia, historic photographs, uh, Take You Behind the Scenes Part One, 
and a journey with Lawrence, an interactive map of middle the Middle East. So that's what's on the DVD, and that's all that DVD ROM features. Um, as far as the 4K, and again, all the special features on the 4K are on the Blu-ray disc. And you have the Secrets of Arabia, a feature-length uh, picture and graphics track, which is similar to Bridge of Rekwai. Uh, Peter O'Toole revisits Lawrence of Arabia. Um, I'm assuming that's... I don't see that on the DVD. So, obviously, it's not a new one because Peter O'Toole hasn't been around for many years. Um, so, I'm not sure when, what the date on that is. But I believe it's new to this set. Or it may have been on a Blu-ray version. Again, this is the, the one I have for is DVD. And I got that many years ago. I never upgraded to a Blu-ray. Um, the Making Lawrence of Arabia documentary. That is on the, the DVD as well. You have deleted uh, scenes. Deleted balcony scene with introduction by Andy Coates. The Lure of the Desert. Martin Scorsese on Lawrence of Arabia. I believe that's on the DVD. A Conversation with Steven Spielberg is on the DVD. Wind, Sand, and Star. The Making of a Classic. 1963 and 1970 versions. So there's like two different versions of this making up, which is kind of cool. Um, mean Jordan, the camels are cast. I guess they're casting the camels. Wow, <laughs> they're really going all out for this, aren't they? Uh, in search of Lawrence, uh, Romance of Arabia, and those are features that were on the DVD also. King Hussein visits Lawrence of Arabia set in love with the desert documentary. Lawrence at 50, Classic Restored. And then you have archival interviews with Steven Spielberg, William Freakin, and Sidney Pollack. Uh, New York premiere footage, advertising campaigns, vintage trailers, TV spots. This thing is loaded. So, I mean, that's really cool. Uh, I don't see any, I don't think I saw anything that was on the DVD that was not on this uh, Steelbook, other than that DVD ROM contents, obviously. But, I mean, this, while I may not be totally thrilled with the look, but again, that's my personal issue with steelbooks. Um, at least, not all steelbooks. I mean, I'm, again, I'm, that's the concept of steelbook. I'm not a fan of, but not all steelbooks have you know art that doesn't refer, or doesn't say the title. You know, a lot of them do, but they still have different art. But these ones, I you know, kind of wish that they would have had the title on there. But being two David Lean film, David Lean films from the same. Studio, they do kind of have a nice, um, similar aesthetic, so that's good. But again, this this Lawrence of Arabia one is stacked, and I'm very excited to get the both, uh, especially this one because I love, love, love this movie. I can't say that enough. And like I said, I seeing it on the big screen was amazing. It's such a beautiful, sweeping uh, film. It's shot beautiful, and I can't even, I cannot wait to check this out in 4K and this, you know. I can imagine just being blown away by it. So, you know, I'm, while not a fan of steelbooks, I'm happy to upgrade and get these and, and uh, you know, get nice, excellent versions of two very excellent Best Picture winners to add to my Best Picture collection. Uh, so, that is it for this one. I just wanted to, again, share this, you know, more recent update, and I think... I probably have a few more coming. <laughs> that I'm, I said, I'm starting to really get into upgrading that Best Picture collection. Um, I said, a lot of I've mentioned before, a lot of them are um, DVDs. I'm trying to, if I can't give it straight to 4K, at least get Blu-ray up, Blu-ray upgrades. Um, and I said, these this case, you know, both these films I had had strictly on DVDs. Very nice edition DVDs too. I think one of the reasons why a lot of them have not been upgraded to Blu-ray or were because I didn't like, you know, the, the Blu-ray editions were, a lot of them, for a lot of these movies, were plain. Were the DVD, a lot of these DVDs, I think we talked about this before, and, and you know, I mentioned other people have talked about in their videos, uh, specifically uh, uh, Born to be Rad and Christian Hannah Hara, they, they did a whole uh, video themselves discussing this. How a DVD sometimes just did the presentation better. They really went all out. Um, sometimes not. I mean, that's not counting like obviously the Blu-ray boutique labels, but you know your studios. You know back then, you know they when they released DVDs, especially for some of the big movies, they would make really nice editions. And when they were put on Blu-ray, they were kind of just simplified and dumbed down, if you will. 
And not always, but a lot of cases, like I said, I would see him. I never really wanted to upgrade because I didn't feel like he was anything different. Or I, was, or I was losing special features, or they just were bare-boned or something, you know. Um, so, I, you know, that's why a lot of them have stayed on DVD for so long. And I'm just now starting to, you know, upgrade, specifically a lot of these two. I'm finding, you know, nicer editions that are being put on special Blu-rays. A lot of boutique labels are getting some of these best picture uh, movies. You know, Shout Factory, they got Dancing with Wolves. They got um, Platoon. They had uh, um, the Deer Hunter. They had Going My Way. So you're getting nice Blu-ray editions, in some cases 4Ks. Um, uh, Arrow, just like I said, they're releasing Silence of the Lambs in a nice limited edition, which I'm very excited about. Yeah, they had The Last Emperor, you know. Um, so, you know, they're out there. They're, they're starting some of these titles, these best pictures, which I really think always should be, at least from the studios, should have some kind of... Be, looked at as having some kind of prestige because these are the films that won them best picture they should be held up in some kind of esteem from the studios themselves to want to take care and preserve and make these movies you know uh stand out above some of the others uh well they may not have been as most popular but again they they gained them some kind of prestige as a studio for winning the academy award for best picture so i i really think they should find ways to put out you know superior editions of these films when a chance they get and you know i'm starting to see a little more so it's that's good anyway that's enough family for me so <laughs> if you enjoyed this click thumbs up share subscribe leave me a comment below uh let me know your thoughts on you know lawrence of arabia bridge and river Kwai. have you seen them uh if you have do you like them as much as i do they're fantastic films if you've never seen them i highly recommend checking out um Lawrence of Arabia's got intermission. It's a long one, but it's it's worth it. You, it is, it's a film that I wasn't sure I was gonna like when I went to, but I was just mesmerized by it the whole way. And but I I can't. And, and again, you the the cinematography of it and, and everything. It is just beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful movie. Um, and and not only does it look good, but it is a good movie in, overall. You know. Um, or just say hi. I'll always take hi. So until next time, this is Chuck saying I will see you on the other side.